What's up everyone, how's it going today? Today I'll be showing you the Oxido LED lights. These are gonna be the 9005s. Now if you haven't seen my H11 video, these lights are awesome, so I'm really looking to get into it. I wanted to say thank you uh, to the company for sending me these lights out since I have my low beams and they're totally awesome. I wanted to do the high beams as well. So let's break open this package here. As you see, within it you got some gloves to help keep everything clean. Then it looks like you got your adjustment, Allen key, as well as it looks like some O-rings. That way you can fit it to the snugness that you want and what works really well. So that's awesome that they actually include those in there. There's been uh, sometimes with some other lights, I'm not going to mention the brand, but they weren't very good, but we'll move into it here. Wow, look at these. Now it's got six LED chips on each side of it, which makes it super, super bright. Can't wait to show the before and after on these. The install is going to be pretty simple, but as you can see here, the lights are really, really nice. These are going to be about 400 times brighter than that pair that you have on now. And halogen, if you upgrade halogen to these LEDs, it's going to be a completely different world for you. So I wanted to get into some specifics here. These are going to be 24,000 lumens per set. It's going to be a 65K light type, over 50,000 hours for the lifespan, as well as a two year warranty. These are 120 watts. So it will work just straight with your car as is, as well as just a 99% canvas air free. So you're not going to have any problems running these lights. Plus the way that it's designed, it's gonna fit directly through OEM, basically plug and play. And I believe I said 400 times brighter, these are rated to be 700 times brighter. So at nighttime when you need the headlights, these are gonna be very valuable for you. And like I said, I have the low beams and it's a night and day difference between the ones I had before. And the ones I had before were not cheap ones. I spent well more than these are even worth here and the quality does not even compare to the Oxido brand. So before we get into the video here, I actually just wanna show you the current lights that I have. So low beams, these are the Oxido low beams. They're really, really nice and really, really bright. So let's flip on the highs. Highs are decent, but we're gonna see how much better they're gonna be once I get these new headlights installed. So we'll start with the driver's side first. If you look at where your washer cap is on your WRX, you'll see you right here, and that's the bulb itself. So super simple, as well as you can see right here is the plug. Basically all you do is just grab the light itself twist it counterclockwise, pull it out. That's simple. I'm gonna unplug it, plug the new one in here, and we'll see if there's a difference in size. Before I put the new ones in, I just wanna show you a comparison. So look how big that one is here on the right side. That's what I had before, and you can see the brand. Really glad that I can upgrade from these. If you look really close, you can see that there's three chips on there where there's six so what this whole light is is taken care of on one side the three and then three you have six and six so you have 12 of these lights compared to six so let's get this plugged in we'll see if we can see any difference so the install itself is super simple you look at how it lines up basically just fit it inside turn clockwise Make sure it's locked in. And the only other thing you have to do is just plug it in. Simple as that. So let's take a look here and actually see how big of a difference is. Now, this is actually only the driver's side, so I still have yet to do the passenger. Wow, you see how bright that is? Man. 
that is a night and day difference. Now let me actually do the other side here, that way we can get a full view of how these lights work. Now for the passenger side, it's really not too hard. The only thing that you have to actually do is remove your intake duct. So that's what I'm working on now. Now I have direct access to the light itself. Now removing the old light is super simple. Again, you have your tab here to unclip it, but all you do is just rotate it counterclockwise. Pop it right out. So now I have the new light installed. Simple as that. One tip I have is that if you're turning it, trying to turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, you may actually have to turn counterclockwise for it to seat. So just a heads up, I had a little bit of trouble getting this one in, but now it's in there nice and perfect. Got to throw the intake duct back on and we'll take a final look at these lights. All right, so both the new high beams are in. Let's take a look. Wow, as you can already tell, I mean, just from that before and after, I'll make sure to include it. That way you can see it either side by side or one right after the other. It's like almost daytime. So I want to give a big shout out to Auxito again for sending over these high beams. I can't wait to try them out whenever I'm on some back roads, but really these lights just coming from a safety point of view are going to help you out a whole lot compared to either your stock halogen bulbs or just some cheap LEDs that you might find. It's worth investing in a set that is actually going to do its job that's actually going to help you and is actually going to show you and some support whenever you're taking your drive. Now, I will have a link included below in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to message Auxito themselves, or you can always ask me on Instagram at WRX underscore snowboarder. But as always, happy driving and enjoy.